for my uh, tanku doll and for that I took a piece of um, an eye pen and I bend it and it's up here and it can go over this one. I found out that this have a good size for uh, uh, the doll or the hand of the doll and I'm going to take a piece of tin foil and I'm going to roll it over and soften it out and I'm going to put this ring over my tin foil like that then I have the clay I want to use for my clock and I have printed out a few clocks here and I'm going to choose one you can find the link for the printout here so, whoops. so I'm just going to choose the clock that I like. And I'm going to cut it out. Oh, let's see, I think I take this one. And I'm cutting it out. So I cut out the clock. I have that right there. I'm going to take my clay, I'm going to put it through my pasta machine in my biggest setting, I have that here, and I'm going to take a circle cutter, and this one is actually a bit too small for the watch, but I'm going to use this one anyway, and I'm going to squeeze it a bit flat, and also bigger, this way it will fit to my clock. So I'm placing my clock in the center and I'm squeezing it down in my clay. And I'm going to take this clay and I'm going to put it through my pattern machine again in a smaller setting. I used a setting 4 this time. And I'm going to make a thin strip. Um, to put around my middle thing here. to take the clock piece and put it right there and I'm going to connect the clock piece with the uh, thin strip I made. And I'm going to take a tiny, tiny piece of the clay and roll it into a tiny, tiny ball. And I'm going to take some of my big bond and I'm going to take a tiny bit of my big bond and place on the clock and then I'm going to put the ball right there and this one is actually too big I'm gonna do that again I'm going to place my tiny tiny ball 
on the wrist watch like that and you can make details on uh, the wristband around the clock here if you like to um, So you can leave it like this, or uh, you can uh, decorate it even more. I have some blue perlex here, and I'm just going to dust a bit of it on my clock. So that's it, and then I'm just going to slide it off my pen, just like this. I'm going to leave it on the metal foil, and I'm just going to bake it like this. And that's it. Happy crafting! Okay, I'm just really uh, fast going to show you how to make a cool wristband for your doll. Uh, for that I again put uh, some tin foil around my tool. And I rolled out some snakes in a few colors here, uh, in two different colors, and I'm going uh, to twist them. Rolling them into the th thickness I like it to have. Then I'm just going to place it around my tin foil here. And I'm going to cut it into the length around my tin foil. And I'm going to connect it. And I'm actually squeezing it a bit flat here. And I'm going to um, smoothen the connection here a bit. Oh, and you can put a bit of big and bond between. And that's it. And you can uh, use whatever color you like. You can use pearl X, you can use mixed uh, clay and uh, scrap clay if you have some cool colors. So it's actually really, really easy. And then you just slide off the tin foil when you're done and bake it. And that's it. Happy crafting! <laughs> Oh